Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the string? The build string node. I've got a quick little example here. We're going to look over. Basically, you can see cat bark 100 moon, which makes absolutely no sense. But we are using the build string node to make it, so let's go ahead and look it over. So by default, the build string node is going to come in like this. It's going to have nothing plugged in. It's going to have default values for the type of build string, and it's going to output a string. Now you may be asking, what do you mean by type? Well, if we type type in build string, we're actually going to find a few different versions. Pretty much one for every variable type, with the exception of string. And the only difference between each of them, and you can see I have the int, rotator, color, and boolean, is the actual input of that type. So the build string int will take it in int, rotator, rotator, color, color, and boolean, a boolean. And the other ones take their appropriate types. Now how it works is pretty simple. You have an append to, you have a prefix, you have a number, we'll put in 9 for this one, and then you have a place. Now when I mean number, I mean the type for the int. If it was a rotator, it would be a rotation. When we output, it basically is going to go in order and put all of them together. So we'll have append to, prefix, int in this case, and the suffix. Which is why we get cat bark 9 moon. Because I have a cat for animal, bark for the sound, and the moon for the place. Now you may be wondering, well, what use is this? Well, you could think of it as an append node with things previously already in place. You don't have to use any of these. Everything in here is completely optional. If we were to leave this alone and go ahead and run it, we're just going to find zero. It's going to append nothing because we have nothing in there. So if you only had, like, for example, animal and a place, then we would have cat zero moon. Now, one thing that's nice about this is since it is typed to something specific, like an int or rotator, it's automatically going to convert over when we do the string output. So in the case of something like a build string rotator, we're going to get the rotational output displayed on screen. So now we have our pitch, yaw, and our roll of all zeros. Same thing with the color. We're going to see our red green, blue, and alpha channel values. And the nice thing about is if you do a bool, you're going to get true or false, depending on if your bool is true or false. In this case, we'll do true, and we'll get back true. So it allows the type conversion to string automatically. So it has a few uses. You could, for example, maybe have a first name and a last name, and then you can have a number between it or rotator. One thing I found useful for this, because you're automatically taking in a type, it's really useful for debugging. Because you can have, instead of doing my text output to display, we do our print, print string. So you could have, for example, append to um, and the name of the event we're in, because we're debugging, and then the color that outputs, or the rotation, or the location, or something like that for debugging purposes. And then just use a print string to print string. So that's it. That is our build string node. It's useful for having pre-built strings using a certain format. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.